Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. So I'm still a little bit sick today. So I might be a little bit tired looking, but I was really excited to do a video that I was tagged by to do from uh, Tiana Perry. Now I'm a big fan of her YouTube channel. Uh, she has a really amazing handbag collection. Oh my gosh, guys, like dream bags, like mini Kelly, back in 25 and suede like oh my gosh like the dreamiest collection and she also collects a few other brands as well but I think her main passion is Hermes and she created this tag called choosing a bag for every season the rules of the tag are I have to choose you know a bag for summer a bag for winter autumn and spring so i'm going to be sharing with you guys um the perfect bag i would choose for each season from my own collection and yeah i guess if you like handbag videos guys i would really super appreciate if you subscribe to my channel i think you guys will enjoy my channel anyway because i love talking about handbags and you know that sort of thing so yeah, I guess I'll get into this tag video. So I was really thinking about this and I think if I, yeah, so oh, well, firstly guys, I was thinking should I just like make it open to all brands of my collection but then I thought I'd just like make it easy for myself and make it Hermes edition as well. So um, yeah, I'm going to be choosing four Hermes bags. So for summer, I really want to choose my new bag which which is my Belide 27. I really like this color for summer. The, this color is called Blue Atoll and I think with the black twillies I've made it look quite all year round I feel like it's kind of my, makes the color look darker but if you pair this bag with really, really bright twillies, I think you can make it look super duper summery. The reason why I purchased uh, this Belide is because, well, I really like the color blue Atoll. And I had noticed a few other YouTubers unbox bags in blue Atoll uh, previously. And they always styled them and made them look really good. Um, and one of the YouTubers was Morgan Britt Butler. Uh, recently this year she unboxed a uh, Kelly 32 in Blue Atoll and it was absolutely stunning and um, she took a photo of it with her in a, a beautiful uh, floral dress and she styled it with a really really bright twilly on it and I absolutely loved the way she paired the Blue Atoll colour with the really bright saturated uh, colours and it really inspired me and I almost wanted to go out and buy a super duper bright twilly like her one with um it had really rich orange and blues through it and I think it really brought out the brightness in the blue color so I think for summer I think this bag would look really pleasing with like either pastel twillies or really bright colorful twillies um it just looks so fresh and beautiful and this almost looks like the water or something I also have seen uh another youtuber called arisu cookie um i've been following her for a while but she has a, an amazing pink handbag collection and she has like very many um uh, she has a few birkins and uh, like amazing chanel bags and her very first birkin was a blue atoll i think it was a birkin 30 and i really was inspired by the way that she styled the blue atoll um with a lot of her like pastel pink outfits f outfits i thought that was like a really interesting contrast and i also thought that the blue atoll color it's something that you can make look also super girly because it's kind of like i don't know like you know like little twin stars like guys do you see this twin stars pouch um i got this from Japan uh, a few years ago but see how it's got this like minty blue color with the pink and like the lilac and how that looks so pretty I think if you get like a an outfit with like pastel colors like pinks and purples and even yellow um, you could really tie it in with blue atoll and it could just look very fresh and like playful I think in the summer so 
I think this could be a really fun colour to play around with in the summer. And also, um, the nature of this bag, because it's swift, it's a very lightweight and casual bag, so I think it would be very pleasing to use. And in the summer, you don't want to carry anything too heavy, so... I think this is a perfect summer bag. For spring, I'm going to choose my air bag or her bag. I don't know how to say it. Uh, 31. Uh, this is a really, I feel like it's very spring. I can imagine like uh, picking flowers and then putting them in this bag. Or like having flowers sticking out of this bag. I don't know. It just reminds me of like gardens, this bag. Like... Like, I don't know, like, golf even? Like, I don't know when I look at it. I just think spring. I guess it could be summer as well. But I think the way I've styled it with, like, the little flower twilly here and, like, the echidna. It just looks like a, a springtime bag. Um, Again, I think it would be really beautiful with, like, a... Maybe, like, a white dress or something, like, prancing around in the flower fields in the spring. I don't know, you could wear some funky shoes with it, like, mm, some uh, springtime shoes with this, this bag. I think it's a pretty uh, laid-back design. I like how there's, like, a little pocket in the back that I put my phone in. Um, and it's pretty good for most weathers actually. I actually got caught in the rain once with this and it was completely fine. Um, a lot of you have been asking me if I've been using my hair bag and yeah I've still used it and I really love it. I think um, if you have a Kelly bag it's still totally um, worth getting a, a hair bag as well because I feel like they're really different bags. Like this one's a lot more mm, fuss free and casual. I would say that the opening is annoying to use, but I usually just kind of keep it open or I just shut it like kind of halfway. Um, but you can definitely get the hang of closing it completely as well. I think when it's actually on you, it's easier to close. Um, but yeah, I don't know, guys. I just feel like this is very spring, probably because it's like green. It reminds me of like leaves and grass. So for my winter bags, guys, I feel like for winter, you need like something big and bold because I like to wear really big puffy coats and fluffy coats and things with a lot of volume because I get quite cold in the, well, I mean, most people get cold in the winter, but I get real, I just like to really rug up in the winter and, you know, maybe I want to wear a big scarf and a beanie. So I don't like to have bags that are too small and get lost in my outfit. I actually like the look of having like a big bag with a big coat. And I also feel like wearing crossbody with a big coat is really annoying. So I find that for big coats, it looks better to have a top handle bag or um, like just a shoulder bag that you can kind of put over your coat and it doesn't get all like bunched up in the sleeve. So I find that um, this Kelly 32 is the best winter bag. Um, I think it being 32 and black, it's probably a little bit too um, overpowering in the summer with like a lightweight dress. But I think this bag in like the colder months um, is really gorgeous. And because I live in Melbourne, it's pretty cold like most of the time. So I find that I get a lot of use out of this bag uh, because, yeah, I just always wear like jumpers and jackets anyway. So I really love the Kelly 32 for winter. And I think it looks absolutely so beautiful with like a a big fluffy coat. Um, you know, I sometimes wear it with my big fluffy black coat or um, even just like I've got a checkered, I've got a few checkered coats that it looks very classy with. And I'm actually looking for an Hermes um, strap in the 70, um, se 70, se 70 centimeter length um, because I find that this bag looks better as a shoulder bag. I don't really like wearing it crossbody because it kind of gets all jimbled up in my um my coat. I don't really like the look of it. But as like a, a shoulder bag, I think it looks really um 
pretty as well. I, I think it looks like perfect as a top handle bag or just wearing it on the crook of your arm. Um, the Kelly 32 is like such a good um, handle. Uh, like the width is longer and the, the height is really good for doing this. Um, it's even better than the, the 28 actually. Um, but I think for convenience, it's good to have a strap sometimes. And I like wearing it like this uh, with coats and stuff. I think it just looks very um, good. So that's why I got the Etsy strap. But I think this is the perfect easy winter bag. And it's black, so it's very fuss free as well. And the Epsom leather is very lightweight. And um, I think it's pretty resilient. So... Yeah, that's my pick for favourite winter bag. Really, guys, I couldn't really pick what I would choose for uh, autumn or fall. And so I asked my boyfriend and he said that I should choose this bag. So uh, my last bag that I'm choosing is my uh, Kelly 28 in... Um, the colour is called Natural... And the leather is Shamonix leather or Shimoni leather. And it's like a matte box calf. Uh, this bag is from uh, the year 2000. And um, I think they don't do this leather anymore at Hermes. But um, I chose this color because I feel like it ve it's very autumn. It's like a caramel um, autumn leaves shade like pumpkin spice latte shade so i feel like it's gives off a warm feeling yeah it just kind of looks like an autumn bag so you know i can imagine it with uh yeah i guess autumn coats tartan skirts or something stockings i don't know if i'd style it like that but yeah, it's, it is very autumn if you think about it. I mean, this kind of colour, you could probably just wear it all year round. But mm, I guess if I had to choose one season for it, it's very autumn. So, yeah, it's quite pretty. And I put on a purple twilly because, I don't know, I just like that twilly. So, yeah. But I guess if you wanted to make it more autumn, maybe you could put on a red twilly. I think that would definitely bring more warmth to the bag. I actually think that this Twilly is cooling down the the shade a little bit. So yeah, that's my final piece. Um, so guys, if you want to do this tag, I'm going to tag a few people below to do it. So I'm going to tag um, Bits and Bags, Tanya below uh, to do this video and uh, Devin, Christopher. Would love to see what you choose as well. And of course, guys, like, obviously you don't have to do MS bags. You can do whatever bags you like. I also want to uh, choose a life with Lockie to do this tag. And guys, if you also want to do this tag, uh, then feel free to do it as well. And thanks, guys, for watching my video. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.